Okay guys, how you doing out there? First of all, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Crystal Age Technology Projection Screens using Smart Technology Gain. As you guys know, we designed a new blackout cloth which is wrinkle free and crease free. Which means the bottom line is you don't have to do a lot of pulling and stretching over the frame in order to remove all the wrinkles out of the frame. You can pretty much just lay this thing down flat and just staple it, velcro it, tack it, glue it, nail it, whatever you want to do. That's all you have to do. Now, let me show you. Uh, this is the, uh, if you're curious what this is, this is the, um, the blackout cloth. The one I was actually showing off upstairs, a new surface. I actually tacked it down to a frame. Well, I actually tacked it, I actually stapled it down to a frame to show you that. Look at the screen. It doesn't you have to pull it over the side. As you can see, there's very little stretching in this frame because it doesn't actually um, um, cover over the side of the screen. Now, if it was actually pulled over the side, you can tell there's a lot of stretching involved. And you can see this is just laying down flat. Now, out of curiosity, I wouldn't suggest you to do this. I mean, it's not going to really mess up the screen at all. But um, out of curiosity, instead of me rolling the screen up, which you should do when you store it, um, I was basically taking the screen and I was actually just folded it in half and large of folds over and over again. And just I've set a few things on top of it by accident and thinking that, okay, this is probably going to cause a, a crease line in the screen because you're not supposed to abuse it that way. But to my surprise and other, other amazement, look at this. The surface is super flat. Now, mind you, the screen I have up top is a fixed frame screen. Of course, it's going to be flat because they got a suspension system in the back that expands the screen. But here, you can see right here, this screen doesn't have an expansion system. It's just basically stapled down to a frame that was made from uh, strips of four inches of pieces of wood, or four inches in width. All right, so let me show you the screen up close. All right, so this is the screen right here up close. I can see I just stapled it down. Wasn't a lot of stretching, wasn't a lot of pulling. This is my frame I built. I just painted it black, that's all. Show you the back of it really quick. Very easy to assemble, very easy to put together. Later on, I'll get some, um, some felt and I'll go around the edges of it real nice, you know what I mean, just to blend this in. Now mind you, this screen automatically has a one inch thick border that was already, that came with the surface. Now these come with border or borderless. This one's borderless, so I can put a little felt right here. It still won't affect, because this is the official screen right here. This is just a border right here that came with the surface. We just coated over it to make it um, to make it borderless, but you still have that little playroom in there if you decide you want to run a little strip of, um, of, uh, of uh, felt around it to just get the blend in to the surface, or you can just paint this a different color, like red, blue, green, and still run the felt around it. It's still going to look freaking cool. Anyway, just some little tips and ideas right there just to get to you guys. But anyway, as you can see, this is the surface, nice and flat, looks incredible. Now, mind you, the surfaces are, the new blackout cloth does come in 100 inch and 120 inch, 69. We had 150 inches, they are sold out, there are more, no more of those left. As for the fixed frame also, uh, the fixed frames we cannot ship overseas, but the blackout cloth we can. Also to the add, you see that, um, that box right there? This is the box, your screen's gonna come shipped in, it will be shipped on a roll, and yes, the screens are 3D and 4K ready. All right, so let's knock the lights out. Well, not officially knock the lights out because we still got this. There's just a ton of, of ambient light hitting the screen. 300 watts to be precise hitting the screen. And let's check out the demonstration. Oh, wait, wait. Before we start, people, before we start, please let's show off the projector. So the projector I'm using over here is my NEC VT595 projector at 2000 lumens, 720p, 600 by 800 res. This is a very low entry level projector. I can get it for around uh, 35, 50. Um, you can get it for like somewhere between, and some places like uh, you can get it. Actually, I've seen one for 25 on eBay. So, and my projector, got to bring out that measuring tape too. My projector is coming in from the screen, probably around uh, 12 or 13 feet from the screen. My basin is pretty wide. That's to show you how much light. See the area where the light's cascading? That's how much light's hitting our screen. All right, so let's begin. This out of the way first. Got to go back a little bit, people, because for some reason I didn't have that removed from the screen. All right, we'll start again. All right. And we have the light cascading down on both screens. Also, to show you that both screens are identical, they do match. Camera focus a little better there. There we go. It's a short, fast video, that's all.
my uh, 300 watts of light so these screens are using smart technology gain times 2 allows the screen to be able to produce an amazing picture even when being hit with 300 watts of direct light on the screen okay guys I'm Kenneth Bird from Crystal Edge Technology Screens hope you enjoyed the video demonstration I'd like to thank you all for watching